Hello dear viewers, this is Dr. Mahmoud Amir Islam. Welcome to my channel. In this presentation, I would like to explain absorption mechanism, which is very important. So please do not skip. Well, to identify absorption mechanism is one of the most important study for researchers. Well, in order to understand absorption mechanism, it is classified as two types of absorption. One is physical absorption or physisorption. Another one is chemical absorption or chemisorption. Well, in case of physical absorption, Van der Waals London process and dipole dipole interaction exist between adsorbent and surface, which is shown here. And this attraction has longer range than chemisorption. And interestingly, there is no chemical composition change for substrate. And Mesocross species of surface can be also occupied by physisorption. Then comes chemisorption, which is most important. Well, in case of chemisorption, strong ionic bond or covalent bond or hydrogen bond form between substrate and adsorbent and there is a chemical composition change and this attraction has shorter range than physisorption and importantly this involves by rearrangement of electron density between adsorbent and substrate then comes cation actions it is one of the most important mechanism and cation exchange is a process by which cations are reversibly adsorbed on charged surfaces of sediments from aqueous solution. And it is found that isomorphous substitution and broken cases in the phyllosilicates or clay minerals and deprotonation of acid group in the organic. Uh, natural ma natural organic matter provide negative charge which facilitates cation exchange mechanism and it is a common phenomena in metal ion adsorption. Then comes electrostatic attraction where opposite charge of the functional group of adsorbent and adsorbate atoms its electrostatic adsorption, which happened in chemisorption, strong electrostatic adsorption due to covalent bonding. For example, the negatively charged chromium species uh, can bind through electrostatic attraction to the surface functional group, and electrostatic attraction is readily occurred when negatively charged pollutants adsorbed on positively charged surface. Then comes surface complexation, which is a general concept considering the interfacial equilibrium caused by specific reactions of bulk species with active surface groups. And there are two types of surface complexes. For example, one is inner sphere and another is outer sphere complexes, which are defined by the presence or absence of hydration sphere of adsorbent upon interaction with mineral surfaces. When adsorbing ions bind directly to a specific site on the surface with no interventing water molecules, and inner sphere complex is formed. On the other hand, when 
adsorbing ions bind to the surface by hydration shell of water molecules and outer star complex is formed. Here I have shown typical example of formation of outer sphere and inner sphere. It is interesting to note that cobalt adsorption on outer sphere at low pH while it is formed inner sphere complexation at higher pH. Then comes film or interparticle division and pore division. It is another rate limiting step as suggested by interparticle division model. For example, chromium adsorption occurred by T waste and modified nano zero valent iron composite using film or interparticle division or pore diffusion. Then comes surface induced precipitation. Surface induced pre precipitation may occur at higher solution pH and strongly supersaturated solution and the formation of a precipitate can be caused by chemical reaction and this can be identified by spectroscopic and surface complexation model. Then precipitation or co-precipitation. Sometimes bulk precipitation may take place at relatively higher solution pH and concentration. For example, cobalt hydroxide precipitation occur at higher pH values. So from the above discussion, we can summarize uh, this and we can say that Pollutant adsorbed onto surface by physis option, ion exchange, electricity attraction, complexation. And these are the references from which most of the information have been collected. And thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.